So let's go to number eight. And this is um, Aaron, and I'm sorry, uh, Angel WVM, who says, would a deathbed conversion work if the main driving factor is the fear of hell rather than choosing to trust God? Um, I don't know why that wouldn't work. So I think fear of hell is a perfectly fine motivation. Um, it's not the most noble motivation. But l let's say that you, um, you have a heart attack and this triggers, this fear of death triggers you to start going to the gym and start eating better. That's a sad reality that that was your motivation, but it's still better than you not doing. <laughs> so if you trust in God, I mean, Jesus said, let me just read you his words here so that we can understand this, uh, hopefully a little better. Um, so Luke 12, 5. There it is for you. He says, um, but I will warn you whom to fear. Fear him who after he is killed has authority to cast into hell. Yes, I tell you, fear him. This is the idea of fearing God and it involves trust, but it also involves a sober awareness of the fact that he can bring judgment down upon us. This is a very real, a very real truth. If that was your only reason is, is fear of hell that you turned and trusted in Christ on your deathbed, would it work? I, I, I believe it would. Now, does that mean I'm going to go and that's my, my tactic is to create this kind of thing? Uh, that's not what I'm saying, but I, I don't see why that wouldn't be, why that would be a problem. You said it was, um, the main factor was fearing hell, not choosing to trust God. But I don't see how you can actually truly separate those things because if you do fear hell, but you turn to God as the solution for your fear, then you are choosing to trust God, aren't you? Right. So, so fear might be a motivator to action, but the action you take is trusting in Christ. That's the key. Are you saved? Well, did you put your faith and trust in Christ? I absolutely did. I absolutely believed. And I turned from, from, from that self life or the sinful stuff. And I, I focus my heart, my life on Christ. I trust. Well, why did you do it? Man, I got the sudden fear of hell. Oh, that's totally appropriate. Now, as you move forward in your Christian life, hopefully you move more and more into a place where fear may have driven you to the cross, but the cross is now what drives you forward, where you, you're now, you're trusting in the love and the sacrifice of Jesus. You trust in the security you have in Christ. I'm not abandoned. I'm not forsaken. I'm not going to hell. I have his grace on me every day. And now I live for his love. And now I live for his goodness. And this is part of your sanctification is these motives and these reasons growing in goodness in your life. Um, so I, I think, yeah, fear of hell leading people to the cross is great, but the cross needs to lead them forward. 